woof 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 Hi everyone, welcome back. I am so excited because Game of Thrones weekend is here. When people think of Game of Thrones, they're always like, oh, the dragons, oh, those dragons are so cool. It's always about the dragons. I don't know, guys. I came here for the dire wolves. Today, we're gonna do a comparison between Siberian Huskies and the dire wolves portrayed on the TV show Game of Thrones and the book series A Song of Ice and Fire. Fun fact, the dire wolf actually did exist once in the history of our planet, but the wolves portrayed in the books and the TV series I think are a little bit larger and slightly more exaggerated than the ones that existed previously. So I'm gonna do my comparison on those wolves. First thing we know about dire wolves is their abnormally large size. That's what makes them intimidating and also so super cool. I started off by measuring my dogs, which was an adventure in and of itself. Um, okay. But... How am I supposed to do this? Maybe I have to stand on the couch to get measured. Crazy. <laughs> Ah! Ugh. Stand up! Stand up! <laughs> Falcon measured to be about 22 inches tall, which is pretty average for a female husky. They can range between 20 to 22 inches tall. The males are slightly taller. So that's pretty normal. Now a dire wolf is described as being able to grow to the size of a small pony. That's all I had to go off of as they didn't really have measurements in the books or the TV shows, but a small pony could be about 50 to 54 inches tall. That's huge. I could ride that dire wolf and my feet would be dangling. I think if my dogs saw a dog that big, they would probably faint. Secondly, the personality of the dire wolf I thought was pretty similar to the Siberian Husky. They're smart, they're loyal, and they have a mind of their own. They can be pretty stubborn, just like my dogs. Are you coming in? Come on in. Come on. You're letting the cold air in. The one thing I think for sure that dire wolves have going for them that Siberian Huskies don't is that people could warg into them. I guess I could argue I sort of have that same thing going on with Phoenix. We kind of like know what the other's thinking, but it's not, it's not warging. Yeah, I can't, I can't do that. And the last thing is their ability to survive in cold weather. The Starks are from the north, the dire wolf is the sigil of their house, so clearly that wolf was built for winter, just like Siberian Huskies. That means the dire wolf must have a double coat. Now imagine a dog with a double coat that's 50 inches tall. That is so much shedding. I think the costume designers of Game of Thrones need to figure out how to incorporate all of the dog hair that those dire wolves are probably just spreading around Westeros. For those of you who own Huskies, you probably know that all you have to do is just be in the same vicinity as the dog and you'll leave with hair all over your pants and your shirt and in your own hair and in your mouth sometimes. I don't even have to touch my dogs. I could just be in the same room as them and when I leave that room, I'm covered in their hair. My point is that if Ghost was chilling with Jon Snow at the wall, then Jon Snow's entire black outfit should have been covered in dog hair. Anyway, let me know in the comment section below if you have any more similarities or differences you want to share about Siberian Huskies and dire wolves. And also, if you would want a dire wolf as a friend. As I asked in the last video, I'm asking you guys to send your submissions for This Is A Pillow. You can use hashtag This Is A Pillow on Twitter or Instagram, or just send me a direct message of your pupper sleeping in a weird, awkward position and using something that is not generally a pillow as a pillow. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I post new things every Wednesday. You can tap on the little circle with my face in it to subscribe. If you want to see my last video, you can go here. And if you want to see more dog stuff, you can go down there. And now that we're at the end of this video, it's time for This Is A Pillow. All right.
Alright, it's been real. See you guys next time.